panorama. But let's start with some sci-fi where the only message is fun. Ultraman, Japan's biggest superhero. Ultraman is filmed on the outskirts of Tokyo. I am delighted to be on the set of Ultraman Cosmos, the latest in the long-running series of Ultraman TV shows, which have been going in this country for about 36 years and are sold to over 50 countries around the world, but not, for some reason that escapes me, to the United Kingdom. What's wrong? What has Bob the Builder got that Ultraman is lacking? Could someone please explain that to me? It was back in 1966 that the series first appeared on Japanese television. It featured a special agency called the Science Patrol that battled huge monsters. Each week a member of the Science Patrol would mutate into a colossal superhero. Ultraman! the years as monsters have continued to threaten our planet, Ultraman has always been there to save us. Ultraman is over 200 feet tall, though this impressive height is partially achieved by the use of miniature sets. Ultraman's only weakness is that his powers last for just three minutes. Three minutes! Crikey! Even hearsay lasted longer than that. In over 400 episodes, at least 27 different Ultramen plus one Ultra Woman have saved us from over 350 monsters. <laughs> Kazuo Mitsuta has been directing Ultraman since the 1960s. Uh, Mitsuda-san, hey. I'm a big fan of Ultraman, so it is a great pleasure to meet you. Um, let me start by asking you, what do you think makes uh, a good... Ultraman fight. What do the fans want to see? We get some ideas from watching pro wrestling and some from karate. I think that all fans expect the hero to win. One of Mr. San's earliest works was Ultraman vs. Akila. Akila looked a little bit like Godzilla. Are they related? It was originally Godzilla. We didn't have enough budget to make a new costume. So, we had to borrow Godzilla from Toho Film Company. So as the new director, you had hand-me-down monsters. But you, but you did a lovely job with it. I like the, uh, the frill around his neck. I seem to remember in one Ultraman, doesn't Ultraman whip it off and then use it like a, a cape? <laughs> Who would be tougher? Who would be best in a fight? Ultraman or Godzilla? <laughs> that is a difficult question. I believe that Ultraman is stronger. Certainly, Ultraman is better dressed. Do you have a favorite monster that Ultraman fought? My favorite monster from Ultraman is Tero Nemon. Wow, so that's gentleman on the He looks like a, a very angry chicken. I got his name from the head of the Apache tribe. Who is, uh, who is this guy? This Chiburu Seiji. It kind of looks like a, a kissing monster. <laughs> Would kiss Ultraman a day. Uh, Mitsuda-san, this is the one I think is the scariest of them all, but I don't know why. Perhaps you can tell me who he is and, and where he's from. Buska. This is Buska, a mutated iguana. I was the director for this series. Many people say that this monster model was me. Now I know why you're in the cap. You're hiding the three bubbles, aren't you? Ah. <laughs> Help me. Mitsuda-san, Donma Arigato gozaimashite. 